hello guys welcome to civil concept and in this video we will see how to draw a floor plan in autocad okay so you can see here uh, this is the floor plan i have already created and uh, we will create here the same uh, floor plan in this autocad okay so let's start our video first of all i will take the excel command to create a infinite horizontal and vertical line okay so i am uh, putting here xl command enter and i will take a vertical line and one a horizontal line okay okay now uh, i am taking the five inch wall okay so uh, you can see here this wall is i think five inch or ten inch i am taking measure from here to here okay so it is ten inch okay so for ten inch i will take the offset of this line ten inch so enter o and enter okay so i will take uh, input here 10 inch enter and click this line and click on this side so you will uh, take the offset of this uh, uh, 10 inch wall okay now again taking the measurement from this wall this side of the wall to this side of the wall is how much 12 feet okay so i am again taking the 12 feet offset from this wall okay so i am taking again uh, offset command enter o and again enter and uh, 12 feet enter and click on this line and this side so 12 feet line offset has been created from this line okay again the wall between this uh, uh, passage is how much 5 inch only okay so take again the offset command o click here o and enter and input here 5 inch okay so click here and here you can see a 5 inch wall has been created now again the passage is of 5 feet okay so input take the input uh, offset of 5 feet again okay so i am taking here offset of 5 feet for the passage so click here o enter and 5 inch enter click on this line okay and this line sorry i have taken five inch okay so i had to take five feet so again taking o offset enter and five feet not inch enter so click on this line and uh, click this side so five feet uh offset has been created now again five inch wall has uh, given uh, after this uh, passage okay so again taking the offset command o enter and 5 inch okay and click on this and click on this side and that from here to here uh, this wall is again 12 feet so again taking 12 feet as an offset so click o enter and uh, 12 feet enter and again i am clicking this line and this side okay so we have created 10 so i have created in x direction all the lines in the x direction now we will take the offset from this side to the y direction okay you can see here the coordinates here x and y okay at the corner of this space okay so from here from here to this wall is 10 uh, 7 feet 10 inch okay so take offset command click o enter 7 feet 10 inch enter okay and click on this line and this side okay so we have created and uh, this wall is 5 inch so again i am taking offset command offset command enter and uh, 5 inch enter and click on this and again we have created a 5 inch wall and uh, from this wall to this wall is 12 feet 11 inch okay so again take the offset command o enter and uh, 11 feet uh how much was how much was 12 feet 11 inch okay so uh 12 feet and 11 inch enter okay and click on the uh, line and you will get offset here okay again the middle wall is how much 5 inch so i am taking again the offset of 5 inch o enter and 5 inch enter and click on this wall uh, line wall and we'll get 5 inch uh, wall okay again from here this wall 
to this uh, line of the stair is six feet for now for now i am only creating this wall okay so from here to here is how much i am taking the measurement okay so from here to here so here how much is this 14 feet okay so take the offset of 14 feet from this wall okay so o enter 14 feet enter and click on this line and this side okay so 14 feet and again there is 5 inch wall so click here and create a 5 inch wall uh, o enter 5 inch enter and click on this line and this side okay so this side and we have created 5 inch now from this wall up to this wall is how much 6 feet okay so again take the offset command o enter 6 feet enter and click on the line enter and you have got the 6 feet baranda okay and uh, here again the uh, 10 inch wall okay so again take the offset of 10 inch so o enter and again 10 inch enter and click on this line and you will get a 10 inch wall okay guys so we have created the line in all uh, x direction and y direction now what we will we do we will trim all the extra line okay except this floor plan okay so take command t r and enter okay and enter and select this line and again enter because before this line we will trim all this line okay and select this okay i have trimmed and second and easiest method is type here t r and double enter enter okay double enter then we don't have to select the line just we can trim okay so extra part will be trimmed automatically just by selecting okay so we have trimmed all and now i am moving this floor plan uh, beside this floor plan to make our drawing easy okay so i am selecting this floor plan and moving so to move it uh, enter m enter and uh, select any corner i am selecting here and i will move here okay okay we have moved here now uh, we have uh, created the outlines of this floor plan now we will create a room okay okay to create room we have to trim the extra line vertical and horizontal line from this floor plan okay so you can see here in this floor there is no vertical line between this uh, two column there is no vertical line between this uh, two column okay so we have to trim this okay so to do this uh, just uh, type tr command again and double enter okay so double enter and we will just trim by selecting this line okay so i have trimmed it and you can see here there is also uh, uh, no lines between these two columns because there is main door so we will create here main door for now i am trimming it okay and there is also no horizontal line here so i am trimming out this also and uh, this also okay so we have trimmed all the line and created the room okay so uh, now what we have to do we have to uh, input the column okay so size of column is how much from uh, this side is one feet okay and uh, this side is also i think one feet okay so from here to here is one feet okay so one feet by one feet is our column so we have to create a rectangle for one feet by one foot so take a line command one feet and enter again from this side one feet and enter again from one feet enter you can also create it uh, by the help of rectangle command okay now we have created the this uh, rectangle to fill with this uh, white color we have to take hatch command okay so to take hatch uh, uh, type here h enter okay so you will uh, get the uh, hatch uh, tool box uh, above this uh, toolbar okay so uh, click any of this i am taking this and click on this uh, you will get uh, white uh, color in this column okay so i have created a column now 
what we have to do we have to copy this and put at every corner of this uh, floor plan okay so enter and uh, copy here copy and uh, we have to uh, select the corner according to this plan okay so we have to put the rectangle at this corner so we have to select this corner of this rectangle okay so i am selecting here here and putting here okay so we have put here and again this uh, on this uh, uh, column is at this corner so i am putting here uh, here okay and again you can see here this line is only coming uh, at this horizontal and vertical at 90 degree only so you have to turn off the o snap okay so you can see at the below of this uh, tool model okay so at the bottom of this uh, space bar so uh, turn off this this is known as ortho mode okay so ha you have to turn off this ortho mode to make this line uh, without 90 degree okay in any uh, angle freely okay so turn off it and now another column a is at this corner and uh, this corner and uh, again other corner is uh, in this corner okay so this corner and uh, other column is at this corner okay now again i am copying this and uh, copy and now i am copying from this corner okay to make the placement of the column easy okay so i will put the column here and after that here and after that here okay again we have to copy this column and copy and copy this column from this side okay so this corner so from this corner we can put the column here and uh, here and after that uh, we can put the column here from this corner and uh, again i am mm, i am leaving this column again i am selecting okay copy copy and we need to take the copy from this corner and put this column here and sorry it will not here and we will put this uh, here okay at this corner and uh, after that uh, after that you can put it at this corner okay this corner and this corner okay this corner okay and uh, again we have to copy this column from this corner this corner to place the column at this place okay and again we have to copy this column okay but we have to copy from this corner this time to place at this uh, corner and here and again here okay so we have put all the column now we have to uh, create a door and window okay okay to create a door and window you can see here there is a window and here also a window okay so to create a window just uh, we have to first of all select the midpoint uh, take line command l enter and uh, select the midpoint okay and from midpoint take two feet uh, first of all mark the uh, midpoint okay now from here we have to take offset two feet this side and two feet this side okay if our window is four by five if our window is five by five then we have to take two uh, two point five feet this side and two point five feet this side okay so take option command enter and two feet enter and select this line this side and uh, this side okay we have created a window and now delete the mid middle line deleted okay now we have to draw a line again from the mid of this line to this line okay so we have created a window okay now you can copy this window from here to here okay and uh, copy it so uh, copy it and select the midpoint and again you have to uh, select uh, place here at the middle of this wall okay so in this way we can create a windows at different place okay so i am leaving this windows and i have told you that how will you create a window 
and now I am creating this door okay so opening up door is three feet so I am creating a line of three feet okay so from here to here three feet and after that I am creating here and trimming this line okay I have created a line uh, from here to here three feet okay so now what I have to do take line command and uh, draw a, a three inch line and after that from here also draw a three inch line okay from this uh, midpoint first of all I am creating a line and then I am selecting the midpoint from here to here three inch okay we have created two line okay now what we have to do trim this two line tr double enter and trim this two line okay so if this line is not trimming then you can delete this okay now you can trim again so it will trim okay now again take the line command and create a door of 2.5 feet enter and now you have to draw a arc okay from here you can select the arc and click at first point and second point and uh, draw like this okay and now extra part you have to trim so tr double enter and trim this okay you have done and you have created a door okay so in this way you can uh, create a door and window okay so guys in this way we can draw a floor plan and uh, and uh, this is very simple uh, just we have to draw a horizontal and vertical line and uh, all this you will create yourself okay so guys in this way we can draw a floor plan in the autocad okay so please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you